Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane. This video is part of my gadget review series, and today we're going to be talking about the RetroTink 5X. I've been a RetroTink supporter from the very start. I knew what the product was, and I was highly invested in older consoles. On March 15th in 2019, I released a video called The Most Unfair RetroTink 2X Comparison. It was a tongue-in-cheek video, and thankfully, Mike got the joke. Well, now I have the 5X, and it's time to do another unfair comparison. So here we go. Oh my goodness, just look at that! I can't believe this result! And neither should you. Okay, okay, enough fooling around. Let's start the war for Cybertron footage. On the left, we have the, H the native HDMI at 720p. On the right, we have the Tink 5X with a 720p signal from official Sony component cables. Now, just watch the video and make the judgment for yourself. lost. Leaving our home is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. It has been a long, painful war with the Decepticons. Whatever lies beyond that portal is our best and last hope, my friend. We're approaching the portal. That indicates it's growing more unstable. At this rate, it may close before we even get there. All hands to combat. So there you have it, the Tink 5X. Will it make the Master System games look like they belong on the PlayStation 4? No. But that's an unrealistic expectation, to be honest. It will make your analog consoles playable on a 4K TV. Now, I would like to take this moment to thank Mike Chi for all of his hard work and many contributions to the retro gaming community. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.